All right. So, by the way, you're second grade. Okay. Okay. So I have something that I wanna read to you. Okay. And as you hear the words that I'm reading, um, I want you to think about the words. And if you want, you can also act it out. Okay. So it's gonna be fun. All right. Let me start. Funny bunny, okay. Funny bunny goes hop hop hop. Funny bunny, please stop stop stop. Wiggle your ears and crinkle your nose. Then wiggle 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 right down to your toes. Can you all wiggle down to your toes? Wiggle 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 wiggle. wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> all right. So here is the bunny, funny bunny. Oh, cute. Okay. All right. Next one. The apple. Do y'all like apples? Mm, yeah. yeah. Too healthy to have apple, mm. teacher. Yeah, we can have some for lunch later. Oh, okay. nice. Up in the apple tree, high off the ground, I see an apple so big and round. I climb up the tree and hold on tight. I pick the apple and take a big bite. Can I make a big bite? Bite. Good job. Mm. <laughs> All right, here you have a child climbing the tree, but don't do it without your parents. Oh, okay. And without okay. a ladder. Okay. Now and the next one, the frog. I saw a little frog. He was cuter than can be. He was sitting on a log, and I'm sure he croaked at me. Can you all croak at me? Like a frog? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Here's the frog. Look. So cute. Yeah. All right. So, was that just like normal stories? So, what did you recognize about those stories? They have same sounds. The same sounds, exactly. Right. Do you know how it's called when the story has the same sounds or when they rhyme? Poem. Poem. Good job. Okay, so there are those poems, right? So what is a poem? You said it, it has the same sounds, right? Yeah. So let's take one of those. Which one was your favorite, the bunny, apple, or the frog? Bunny. Uh, bunny? Bunny. Bunny. OK, let's take the bunny. I'm going to draw a little bunny here. Maybe let's make bigger ears. <laughs> Alright, so here's a bunny, right? So it says, funny bunny goes hop, 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 right? So it's like hopping, okay? So hop. And then it says, funny bunny, please stop, stop, stop. So it's like, he's gonna stop. And then it's the word stop, right? And then wiggle your ears and crinkle your nose. So it's wiggling your, his ears. Crinkle the nose. And then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle right down to your toes, right? Here are the toes. So we have those words at the end of each letter, each line, and they rhyme, right? Hop rhymes with stop. Nose rhymes with toes. So that's when you recognize that it's a poem, okay? So whenever you hear a story and it rhymes, it has a pattern, and the last words of each line, line rhyme, that's a poem, okay? So, all right. And now, we're gonna actually make our own poems today, okay? But it's pretty hard, so first I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? So, it's pretty easy actually when you have a picture and then you can see what's on the picture and you just write a poem about that, right? So I'm gonna draw something on the board. And according to that drawing, I'm gonna write a poem, okay? So, and you tell me what it is. Like, whoever recognizes it first, you can tell me what it is, okay? A cat. You already know it. Good job. <laughs> I'm still gonna finish up.
you, by the way, recognize what kind of cat it is? <laughs> the one on Facebook, right? <laughs> okay, so I see this picture. It's a cat, right? So you have cat. What, uh, I, I'm going to think what rhymes with cat, and I say fat, because that cat looks pretty fat, right? So let's just write down here, cat and fat. And then what, what is he doing? He's eating, right? Mm -hmm. so he's eating a donut. So I might want to have donut or eat or something about that in the poem too. So I'm just going to say, I have a cat. Okay. I have a cat. And I need to find something that rhymes with that. And I know fat rhymes with cat, so I'm going to say, he is so fat. <laughs> so fat. You see how this rhymes? It's mm -hmm. the last word of each line, right? And then, his tummy is really big, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say he has a big tummy, right? Mm -hmm. He has a big tummy. And I'm going to think what rhymes with tummy, and I think yummy mm -hmm. rhymes with tummy, and he's eating a donut. So I'm going to say he thinks donuts are yummy. Mm -hmm. So that will already be a short po uh, poem that we have. Oh. He thinks donuts are yummy. All right. So, Nale, can you tell me which words are the rhyming words of that poem? Cat, fat, tummy, yummy. Exactly. So it's pretty easy, right? So let's try it again with the different poem, but now we can do it together, okay? So we can work on it together. All right. Let's take a different color. Let me draw something again, because then it's easier, right? I'm just going to draw something. You tell me what it is. Family. A family, exactly. So you wanna, we can write a poem about family, right? You already said family. So, what else do you see? Like, who is in the family? Who is that? Father. Father. Father, or we can say maybe daddy, right? Mm -hmm. Or father. How do you call your father? Papa. Papa? Okay, that's right, Papa. What, who's that? Mama. Mama. Who's that? Brother. Brother. And that's us, okay? Let's just say this is us. So me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we have a family. Um, what does family rhyme? Like, what word rhymes with family? Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Do you have another word? Friendly. Friendly. Maybe even one that is in here. Can you find something? Does Papa rhyme with family? No. no. Does brother rhyme with family? Does me rhyme with family? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you say family, me, right? It has the same sound at the end. Okay. So now we can start. Uh, let's just start with our first line. We could say, we could just describe the picture, what we see in the picture. We can say, like we say here, this is, it's Papa, it's Mama, my brother, and me, right? We could start with. Like 
and then which one would you like to choose that can rhyme with me? We can have family, lovely, friendly. Which word do you want to use for the next line? Friendly. Friendly. So we can write, it's Papa, it's Mama, my brother, and me. Tell me a sentence where friendly is at the end. We are all so friendly. We are also friendly, that's a good idea. We are all so friendly. So you see they're all smiling, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we can have two new lines, but with a different word that rhyme with each other, okay? So what does your family like to do? Now we have those words. Maybe we can have one more word. Let's see. My family likes to play and sing. Okay, so we have those words. We can choose any of those words in the next line. So you can say, how, how can you have that in, in a sentence? Any of those words. You can just say, my family. likes to, and then use that word. Mm -hmm. My family likes to play. Uh -huh. And another word? Play and? Sing. And party. Party? <laughs> play and party? Okay, let's check. My family likes to question the next line what word do we need to rhyme with that which word should it rhyme with party party, party. exactly so what words could we use for party what what rhymes with that word party smiling candy. Candy. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. so Whenever you write a poem and you have a word at the end and you have a really hard time finding a word that rhymes with it, you can just change it with a different word that is easier to rhyme. So maybe we can change it with a different word that's easier to rhyme, okay? So let's have that. Play and sing. Play and sing? Okay, let's have that. Now what word rhymes with sing? Swimming. <laughs> oh, let me let me ask you. Maybe we can switch those words around. What word would play? Or what word would rhyme with play? Play. Play. Oh wait, likes to play and sing. Oh, so we could. But I like to switch it around. Likes to sing and play. So what rhymes with play? My family likes to sing and play. Play. Hey. <laughs> Relay. Relay. Or. When you talk, you what do you do? You say something, right? Mm -hmm. Say. Say. What are the words that I'm playing? Way. Way, exactly. So let's find the last word or the last line. 
that rhymes with that last uh, play, okay? So we have either say oh. or way. What did you, you have something? I say, my family likes to sing and play all the way. Exactly, who had that? All the way. Now, can you read that for us, the whole, like mm -hmm. this part? It's Papa, it's Mama, my brother and me. We are all so friendly. <laughs> my family likes to sing and play all the way. Good job. Does that sound like a poem already? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, it does, huh? Okay, so now we made our own poem. So, do you already know a little bit like how to write a poem when you see a picture? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Because now, I'm going to hand out something to you. And in the same pattern that we just, <coughs> that I showed you before, that we did together, you can write your own poem, okay? So I have this handout, and you can see some pictures. You can choose all the pictures or any of those pictures that you like, and then write a short poem about that picture, okay? You can write your name on the top. That's how it looks like. You can you can choose any picture and just write one poem about one of the pictures. How's it going for you guys? Mm -hmm. Good.
Who's ready? Raise your hand. Only one? Only one. You got one too? Mm. Almost, okay. So remember to have the last word rhyme with the next line first two and then the same in the last two sentences. Ready? I see there are some good things alright. <laughs> and there are handouts already. Okay, so what we can do now because you work really hard on that poem. It's not easy, I know. But it's always fun to read and listen to poems, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna have you do, if you like, you can read us your poem so we can see what you have. Okay, let's start with Nathan. I never see the snow until I get to see the show. Outside the house is cold. I can't go because I'm old. Oh, that's a good poem. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see how poems? <laughs> you do so many. Thank you. Do you see how poems always make you feel a certain way too, right? So it's kind of I felt sad for that whoever wrote that. I mean. <laughs> If it's mm -hmm. probably you, right? <laughs> but whoever writes a poem, he always or she always puts feelings into the poem, right? Mm -hmm. So good job. You you did a really good job. You had the last words rhyming and everything, right? Okay, so okay. My friends and I love to play all day, every day. I ran and ran and ran. I ran and ran and kicked the ball, and it went all the way to the hall. Good job! Awesome! <laughs> so you chose the picture with the playing ground, yeah. right? Huh, awesome! Alright, I also chose one picture. It's the one, the first one in the left, the corner. So I wrote, my friend has a nice dog. He likes to go for a walk. When the weather is nice and we see the sun, we always have a lot of fun. Yay. So, now you know how to write poems. Whenever you see pictures, you see something outside, you can write a poem and read it to your parents. And it's really, really fun to listen to poems, right? Okay, so I'm going to collect your poems, just looking through them, and then I'll give you back to you by the end of the day so you can show it to your parents, okay? Yes. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Done. <laughs>